Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brain Man Sean, and I'm back with another video. And in this one, well, I thought about the fact that I've talked about so many distribution services before, but I never really gave my complete thoughts on TuneCore. I actually did an interview on TuneCore, if you guys remember that, with uh, somebody who works there. However, I never gave my particular thoughts, and I was thinking, as the largest of those distributors, where we're talking about a billion dollar company, I should at least offer a little bit more detail on a few things from my perspective that could be valuable and just also talk about my distribution uh, service philosophy, a few primary things that I look at or think about. So number one is the fact that, yes, they're a huge distributor. One thing that first threw me off, just back when I was first researching distributors, this is years ago at this time, was the fact that they only did a one time fee, right? There's a flat fee versus royalties. That initially was just interesting and I didn't expect it, but I love that about any distribution service that does that. I don't believe in paying the royalty rate through your third party distributor, especially if you have the option not to. And there are some that take royalty fees. Some of these people um, say they're free but they're taking fees off of your music. And that's cool if you actually are maybe a hobbyist and don't really want to make money off of your career. You think you really don't think your music is going to blow up or anything like that. Ah, that, that, that might be cool. But if you're taking your music seriously and you really think it's going to be something, I would much rather pay a flat fee, even if it might seem like it's more money up front, just to make the bigger money on the back end. So many people have probably been aware of Russ talking about how artists really have money to make in music there is money to make in music if you own it right and if you're not cutting uh giving somebody a cut on every corner and he always cites TuneCore because that's what he's been using all these years and says you can make millions on TuneCore but back to that same philosophy of the fact that once again look why are you giving this person 15% royalty per song when they're just getting it on these platforms. So that, when we look at distributors, when we look at, you know, you have the the, the general distributor, distribution names you're used to and then you have the hybrids where it's like, uh, you know, they, they say that they're like A&R's record labels. You, you know those companies as well. I've done the, the video on the AWOLs and the the uh, United Masters and who, who am I missing? Who am I missing? Amuse, right? We, we've talked about companies like that as well, but most of those are going to take some kind of cut somewhere, even if it's not advertised at, at up front. It's in the fine print. Um, it's definitely in the fine print. And I'll do a video about that later. Now, another thing I like about them is that, especially from a record label standpoint, if I have a group, you don't have to pay per artist name. That is extremely valuable right just because if i'm running and i got multiple artists or i'm a manager but again if, if you're in a group with, with the homies i know there's some people who have the group hybrid but they have the artist hybrid that's still something to consider right that's 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 back to the money again and i understand that money is a primary thing that most artists are thinking about as they try to rise and build up their career but again even that part is far less important than that one fact. That one fact that, look, flat fee, I'm not taking a percentage. That part is extremely important to me. I didn't even know I was going to stress it. I'm now stressing it the more I think about it in this particular video because I know I haven't talked about this enough. When it comes to this, these distribution services, if they are taking a royalty, just know. Do not do it, in my opinion, particularly when there's options not to do so. And last but not least, uh, when it comes to TuneCore, now this is kind of a random aside thing that they do special in particular, is they do fan reviews. They offer that service. And why that's important to me is simply because so many artists have told me they have trouble getting objective feedback or they can't, they want people's opinions on music. And... I'm only saying that because people ask me for their opinion on music all the time, or I have conversations with artists that say, look, I can't find anybody to give me their opinion, or all my friends say I'm good, or I can't get their honest opinion. That is something that you should probably check for a service like that for, right? Especially when you're looking at people like me or anybody else that you think should have some kind of voice towards your music. 
that's cool, but we're probably not your demographic. Like there, there's, we, we can only, it's not that I don't like a lot of different types of music, right? But at the same time, I'm probably not gonna be your target fan base. So it's better to at least go through some objective third party things where you're just taking this information and you don't even have so much of a face to the name where you're trying to value it like that, like complete objective data that comes back and reads that way versus somebody like, oh, I'm gonna put a lot of weight in brand man Sean opinion because he thinks my music is dope or because he thinks my music is whack or he needs work. That's the one of the reasons I don't give them heavily. I might do something interesting like that um, at some point, but the, the I think the fan review thing is something that's overlooked and the fact that they have a service for it I think it's cool and the data like I've seen the back end data and what that looks like and how extensive it is which is pretty dope that's something worth looking into them again so yes the fan reviews and yes you can have multiple artists and um you know names under an account especially for the record label type people without having to pay again and again and again and again per artist but the biggest thing of all goes back to the philosophy of not paying for royalties not paying for your streams even though it's small up front it's money on the back end and this is again for something that could be done without taking that royalty we have to be able to think long-term business versus short-term when it comes back to this stuff and so many of these people that y'all might be hopping on with right that are advertising themselves as free and easy they are free up front, free to put it on the platforms, but if they're still taking a royalty rate as maintenance or whatever they say, like whatever language gets used, it's not free, right? And that's the last thing I'll end with. Stop expecting everything to be for free. There's always going to be some exchange, you know, at the very least it's time, but, but particularly when these, when we talk about these companies and hosting your information or, or selling in the music industry, you should not expect anything to be for free, especially as you become more and more of a professional. You should be looking to pay for your stuff. You want good deals, right? You want better deals, but you should understand there's going to be a cost to things and for free right might not even be a certain level of quality that's a, this is a whole like a side not even just talk about distribution services now but for for free right might not even be the quality of maintenance that you require and need when it comes to you running yourself professionally so when something isn't done well and you're wondering why it wasn't done correctly well you you asked for it to be done for free versus making sure that someone was incentivized to actually deliver the quality that you require right so keep that in mind and yes i talked about tunecore a lot in this video they are the biggest you do hear a lot of art artists talk about them and you can check them out if you haven't heard of them for some reason in the link in the description no it's not a uh like affiliate or anything like that just tunecore.com i'll put it in the description if i remember if not you can also just type in tunecore.com so that's the end of this video and i wanted to make sure i think i've got all these things covered no i have one big video going a little bit deeper into some of these hybrids and some of the details that y'all miss when it comes to these and the contracts but stay tuned for that Again, if you like this video, hit, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.